Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in Statics and we're going to do problem 2.118, okay? It says, determine the angle of theta between cables AB and AC. So we got these two cables AB and AC and we want to find the angle between those guys. So in order to do that, we're going to use the formula that we applied in the previous video will tell us that theta is actually equal to the inverse cosine of the dot product of the two vectors, so vector AB dot product AC, all divided by the magnitude of both vectors, so the magnitude of AB and the magnitude of AC, okay? Now, in order to find these vectors, we're gonna locate where A, B, and C are. So let's just start by doing that. So where is A located? So A located is located at exactly at the X axis, three meters, positive three meters from the X axis. It has nothing in the Y and nothing in the Z. So we got zero and zero meters in both. For B, where's B located? It has nothing in the x-axis. In the y-axis, it has negative 0 0.75. And in the z-axis, it has one meter up. Okay. Last, for the z, we got zero in the x-axis. We got in the y-axis, we got one meter, one positive meter, and then in the c-axis we got 1.5 and all this is in meters okay so let's just start by finding the vector a b so if we want to do the vector a b this is going to be equal to b minus a so we start 0 minus 3 that will give me negative 3 in the i direction negative 0 0.75 minus 0 will give me negative 0 0.75 in the j direction and 1 minus 0 will give me positive 1 in the k direction okay so that's good for vector a b we can find its magnitude by applying Pythagorean theorem with our calculator oops so we do square root of negative 3 squared plus 0 0.75 squared plus 1 squared and this will give me if we check with our calculator we do a square root of 3 squared plus 0 0.75 squared plus 1 squared this is equal to 3.25 so this is equal to 3.25 okay that's good let's do vector a C. So for vector AC we do Z minus A. So we do 0 minus 3. That will give me negative 3 in the I direction. Then we do 1 minus 0 will give me 1 in the J direction. Plus 1.5 minus 0 will give me 1.5 in the K direction. Okay? Now uh, these guys are in meters. We can find its magnitude as well. We know how to do this. It's the second, the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 1.5 squared. And using the calculator, we get square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 1.5 squared. It's equal to 3.5 meters so uh, we got the magnitudes all we have left is to find the dot product so if we do the dot product of a b and a c so a b dot product a c what we actually need to do is we multiply three negative three multiplied by negative three so we got negative three multiplied by negative three plus and we got negative 0 0.75 multiplied by 1 so negative 0 0.71 75 I'm sorry multiplied by 1 
plus 1 multiplied by 1.5. So we have 1 multiplied by 1.5. And this is actually equal to, so negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 will give me positive 9. Actually minus 0 0.75 plus 1.5 and if I'm not wrong this will give me a total of 9.75 okay so we have everything for the formula we got the dot product and the two magnitudes so let's find theta theta is equal to the inverse cosine of dot product on the top so 9.75 all divided by the multiplication of the two magnitudes. So, magnitude of AB, 3.25, 3.25, multiplied by the magnitude of AC, which is 3.5, 3.5, and let's see what we get. So, we use our calculator, inverse cosine of 9.75 divided over by 3.25, and also divided by 3.5 this will give me 31.0 degrees okay and this is our answer for this problem thank you guys for watching if you guys have any question or any suggestion please comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video